welcome back to this channel and in this video session we will discuss uh, 20 interview questions related to the AS400 so it's a part 8 video now let's move on to the questions one by one the first question is which operator extender will be used to prevent files from being locked when we read a file in the update mode so the answer is N. The operator extender N is used to avoid any locks. So it is basically no lock case. What is an open query file in CL? So open query file basically creates an access path and once that uh, open query is used by the CL program that access path gets discarded okay so this is the first point and the second point I would say what it would what we can done through that um, through the use of open query we can uh, sort records in any order in some order or you can say uh, we can select some subset of records uh, and uh, we can group records or we can join records from multiple files so that's all about open query but the main thing is um, it creates a temporary uh, access path file access path which is dynamic actually how can you find out the job name and other job details in CL so we know we have a command retrieve job A so that we can found this find this detail how we declare variables and files in CL so for variable it's DCL and for file it's DCLF what are the data types available in CL char rector decimal and boolean and last but not the least that is pointer as well if the fields is defined in dds how is it referenced in a cl program so for example if a field is defined as field 1 in file 1 then we can reference in CL program as and FLD1 we need to prefix with and so once uh, we declare the file in CL program we can use any field of that file how do we change the value of a particular variable in CL we have command chgvar to do this define iter and leave so iter is basically uh, both are the branching statement and uh, once we use leave inside uh, any loop we will come out of the loop out of endo but once we use iter on some condition inside any loop then what happens in that case it went to the endo and then it again goes to the do to check next conditions so it won't come out of loop it just skip that iteration so that's the difference between leave and it what are the statements which is not used in CLLE that is used in CLP so we were using reclaim resource uh, in CLP but not using in CLE in CLE we are using reclaim activation group and then its parameters like star eligible or the name and another thing is TRF CTL which is used to call a program earlier in CLP but now it's not used we basically we simply use call statements
what are the various stages of job after it is submitted so once we submit the job what happens um, job gets assigned with its attributes and job number or job name whatever and uh, then it first went to job queue to get its turn to get process and then it becomes active then it goes to out queue for any output data to be get printed so it wait for its turn to get printed so basically subsystems queue batch subsystems will take the jobs from the job queue and then start the job in ile suppose pgm a that has two parameters and calls pgm b that expects three parameters from pgm a how can we handle the problem the keyword is tan no pass stage the option which needs to be transferred so i already already written this so you can see this keyword so what we be what we'll be doing here is basically we are defining like uh, opt param and for example 10 characters length star no pass so once we use this option to star no pass and we need to use it at the last one so we may use this option star no pass with the last parameters so that's the point here so basically whenever we are calling a program which expects three but we want to pass two parameters we can use this way options star no pass what is job queue and print queue job queue is contain the list of jobs to be processed and print queue contains the printed output data to to be printed a string operation in serials the many like uh, percent lsst percent scan and others as well dsp message d dsp message d is used to check the message id uh, description from a message file how can you set lower limit to a file in cl so we can achieve this in rpg using set ll but how we can do this in cl program so that's an interesting question so we have uh, several ways so i would be telling you some ways post dbf we have a command post dbf which sets the file position uh, which sets the position to the star start and we have a file position keyword there so for post dbf once you take f4 we will be seeing param file position so we can provide a star start there and the second one is over dbf so where we can set the lower limit either by key value or the rrn or star start which cl command to write file that is send f so we can use this command to write device files which cl command is equivalent to write read a display file in rpg so in rpg we write or read the display file using exfmt but in cl we have send receive f command for that purpose the 18th question is how can we share the access path so the 
access path is basically let me tell you uh, for example I, I take a question here where I define or describe the open query file so here in this case also uh, we first create we first use the open query file which creates an open data path or you can say the access path in serial program and then to share that path we call the program using and then before that we we would be using the override database command so which is basically uh, overriding that file with the uh, file which is used in the RPG program and we will be, we will be specifying the share star yes there so that we can share the access path between the RPG and C. So that is the thing difference between logical file and open query file. So logical file has an object permanent object but open query file does not have a permanent object and once uh, or I can say that uh, logical uh, file is also an access path and open query file is also an access path but the difference here is it is permanent access path and open query file is a dynamic access path and it is temporary it gets deleted once it gets used so if we know that our data is static we must go for the logical file because because that uh, increases our perform uh, increases the system performance and if we know that the data is dynamic we need to deal with the dynamic queries dynamic data every time we don't know the exact stack data then we go for the open query file what does return command do in CL so return command will basically return the program uh, from that call pro call program to the caller or if I call that from the command line it returns to the command line so that's all I think all those questions are covered so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time